Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to their truest self. So today's video is going to be all about why you're finding it hard to get motivated and what you can do about it. Now I've recognized that a lot of people intellectually know why they want to change something or do something. So for example, some people might want to quit smoking or some people might want to start exercising or some people just want to get motivated to um, study for the exams. But a lot of the struggle is that they know what they want to do, yet they find it hard to get motivated. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the common traps that we often fall into that keeps us from being motivated and what you can do about it. So the first thing that normally, um, some the first trap that people normally fall into that keeps them from feeling motivated is that they're focusing on what they don't want to do rather than what they do want to do. Now, for example, using the example of wanting to exercise or quit smoking or even just studying, a lot of people tend to focus on the thoughts of, oh, it's too hard or it's too complicated, um, I'm too tired, it's too expensive, it's going to be too exhausting, all those sorts of things. People tend to focus on those thoughts and when we focus on these unhelpful thoughts, then we create this unpleasant association of this task that we want to achieve. So what we want to do is shift away from these unpleasant associations and we want to shift that to something that is pleasant. And how you do that is you focus on your why. Why did you want to do this task? Why did you want to work towards this goal in the first place? So perhaps with the smoking um uh, example is rather than focusing oh it's too hard or I'm too exhausted I need a smoke focus on why you wanted to quit smoking in the first place so perhaps it was you wanted to live a longer healthy life with your family and children or you wanted to um, start running and exercising again and smoking's preventing you from doing that so focus on your why you know even with studying for exams a lot of I remember when I was um, back in uni I kept on focusing on why I didn't want to study like I was taking time away from hanging out with friends um, it was going to be too long and tedious, it was boring and those thoughts, those thoughts made the experience very unpleasant and eventually I just became so unmotivated that I stayed clear from it. But what needs to happen is shifting your focus in this sense, shifting your focus of why you wanted to study, why it's important for you to study so perhaps you can get into the course that you want to or perhaps you can get the job that you're dreaming of, all those sorts of things. Shift your focus onto why you want to do something rather than why you don't want to do something. Now the second common trap that people fall into that keeps them from being motivated is that they set the task or goal way too big. Now a lot of the times we often get way too motivated, way over our head and what I mean by that is we somehow get inspired for whatever reason. So and then we then set ourselves these massive massive goals, these goals that are way beyond um, where we are currently are. So for example, I use this as an example, um, let's say there is this man, he has never exercised or did any sort of movement like running or walking in his entire life. He's spent his life so far to this very day um, in his bed or on the couch he's barely be even been outside now all of a sudden he's been getting motivated and feeling inspired to um, run a marathon so he has this goal of running a 20 kilometer marathon now if he was to set himself up this by saying by tomorrow I'm gonna start running 20 kilometers every day what do you think is gonna happen he's probably not gonna make it he's probably not going to succeed to be honest and I'm not saying that to be a pessimistic but that's what that's that's what it is he's never exercised in his life he's never walked he's never ran oh when I say walked I mean like long distance walking um, yet he set himself up this massive massive goal so he's not going to succeed in this instance so what is most likely more achievable is that to set himself smaller tasks, smaller goals. So perhaps that he has this vision of wanting to run a 20 kilometer marathon. Great, put that vision ahead and let that be a goal to work towards. But what his current goal is to break his task up into smaller, smaller tasks. So perhaps he can start his day of tomorrow by taking a walk around the block, um, just feeling the air just by being outside, getting some energy and flow and movement through his body. That perhaps is one task. So what you wanna do is set yourself up to succeed not fail and that's where a lot of people go wrong they get so motivated and way way over the head that they set these um, massive goals massive goals that they then feel overwhelmed and then why they when they try to achieve these goals they don't um, exactly uh, achieve it in the way that they plan and then they end up telling themselves oh I'm not good enough I'm a failure there's no point in trying and then they give up
But it's not about the, whether you are good enough or whether you failed. It's because the task was set way too big from where you are currently are. So yes, yeah, set task, small chunks of task rather than go straight for the big one. Kind of like think of it as a flower, you know, if you want a flower, you don't just go and get a flower straight away. Like even if you go to the, to the shops, you can't just get that flower. That flower came from somewhere. That flower was first um, created with soil, the right amount of soil, the right amount of water, the right amount of sunlight and temperature, all those sorts of things. Those little things, those little tasks and goals then built up to be the whole bigger goal itself, a whole bigger outcome itself. So yes, I would say if you're feeling really unmotivated because you're feeling overwhelmed at such a big goal that you set yourself, I would say set yourself smaller chunks. So perhaps if you are wanting to um, study for exam and you're feeling unmotivated because you're feeling so overwhelmed with the task you're given, so perhaps you've been telling yourself, oh, um, I need to study for four subjects and I need to do all 10 chapters for each subject you're probably going to set yourself up for failure because you're going to feel very overwhelmed and you're going to end up doing nothing. So what you want to do is perhaps, for example, is to focus, I'm going to do one chapter for now for this for this subject and one chapter for this subject. And once you complete that, you can set yourself another task, a task slightly bit bigger or perhaps the same amount of uh, size and goal. Um, but you're just moving forward rather than moving backwards. So yes, I would say one of the big un biggest unmotivators is way too big of a task and you get way too overwhelmed. So I would say break your task, break your goal into little chunks that is achievable and manageable. So the third and final reason as to why people become so unmotivated um, and what they can do is that, is that they feel stuck in the same routine. Now, a lot of the times we have this motivation of wanting to um, do something new, so perhaps wanting to exercise and quit smoking and uh, um, study for exam, but we are still doing the same routine. And what that means is that when we're doing the same routine throughout our life, we're telling ourselves the same story. And this is a story that got us stuck in the first place. So what you want to do is change up your routine. And how you can do that is change, add an activity or task that is completely unrelated to your goal at hand. So perhaps um, your big goal is to quit smoking eventually. What you want to do is introduce a new activity or task into your life that is unrelated to that goal. And so what that could look like is perhaps, so currently maybe your morning would look like you wake up, you go straight to the bathroom to do your morning routine and stuff, and then you go and make breakfast. So that's your current routine. And so what you want to change up now is to introduce a new task or activity. So perhaps now this time you're waking up and you get up to straight and make your bed straight away and then you go to the bathroom. So you're introducing this new sport task, this new activity, and when you're doing that, you're creating a new story. You're shifting your old routine into this new story. And when you're doing that, you're creating this momentum for change, this momentum for, you basically, you're opening yourself up for new opportunities. Even if it's as small as a task of making your bed, you're doing something different. And the reason why you want to do it, uh, something that's unrelated to your big goal is because you don't want to negatively associate um, the small task with um, with your bigger goal. And, and that tends to be the case. So I would say introduce a new task or activity that adds value to your life that's completely unrelated. So for instance, this could be making your bed. Or, or you can just change up your routine. So perhaps rather than going to the bathroom and then making breakfast, breakfast you can make breakfast and then go to the bathroom so switch up your routine because when you switch up your routine you're shifting your story you're shifting your story away from the old old stagnant momentum when there is no momentum you want to create a new story where there is more chance of for you to propel forward and create new changes in your life so yes those are the three um, reasons as to why people become stuck or feeling unmotivated and then what you can do to um, motivate yourself again Hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next time.